Hello and welcome back to the RV vlog. So we're about five or ten kilometers actually backtracking from Robson Provincial Park because last time we were here we found the most amazing rest area. It's huge and it also has super fast TELUS Wi-Fi and it's not quite in a provincial park or national park boundary so I can get the drone up and enjoy it a bit because it's going to be a little bit harder to get you some drone footage I've been enjoying doing lately because today is the day. We're heading to Jasper National Park. We didn't get to visit it at all last year, just never made it into our trips of across Canada and back. So it's our first time going to Jasper National Park. We're driving through the Rocky Mountains and we're so excited to finally get to check it out. We even have three different campsites booked to explore as well. So it's going to be a good one. We've got Cat outside here right now, getting a bit of grass in. Rocky Mountains and National Park time. Here we come, friends. Okay, so we just officially entered Jasper National Park and we're just heading through the park gate now. We do have a year National Parks Pass that we bought last year and because of COVID-19 it was extended three months for everybody so we're thinking if we're right that our Parks Pass is going to be expiring any day now so we got to go and buy a new year pass because we're heading up Jasper for several days and then Banff for several more so gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, but we'll definitely take advantage of using it next year too at least. Next summer and spring we're going to be going to probably Banff and Jasper a lot more hopefully still. So that'll get us over till basically next fall again next year. So we'll take advantage of it. And we can collect them. That's true. I would like a collection of National Park Hey, We thought they only extended it three months because of COVID but they actually extended it four. So we're good to go for Jasper and Banff and then who knows what happens next year. We will probably still buy one but whatever. Just a stool, but I don't mind You could never wear me out Even after all of these years You'll still look at me with the same love It's just a stool, but I don't mind You could never wear me out You could never wear me PD campground in Jasper. It's one of the closer ones to actual Jasper town and it's fairly big. Um, the other I think bigger one is Whistler campground but that one's actually closed this year. So I think that's why getting a campsite um, in Jasper has been a little bit more difficult this year but we did manage to get this one. We're in the H loop. I don't know if that means anything. So when we reserved our campsite here, we couldn't actually reserve the same campsite all three days that we were here. We actually have to move campsites all three nights, which is actually works fine because we have to take our motor home if we want to go anywhere anyways. And we plan on doing some day trips and like fun things out and about during the day. So it's really not that big of a deal to come back and check into a different campsite. What's cool about this national park though is instead of buying uh, like firewood bundles, you buy a fire permit. So basically if you want to have a fire that day, you pay $8.80 at the front kiosk and then you can go pick up unlimited firewood and have your own fire here. But one thing I do have to say about this campground is there's already a lot of bugs. So <laughs> I think we're going to have to bu bust out the uh, mosquito rings or something and get something working for us here. 
Yeah, before checking in, we went actually into the downtown area of Jasper itself. We filled up our gas, we were getting pretty low and we figured it might be a little bit cheaper here in Alberta. Honestly, being in the National Park, it kind of broke out even, kind of comparable to BC at least, but we kind of got a little bit of a sightseeing around the actual Jasper town area and then we're gonna check out of here tomorrow morning and actually go downtown Jasper and kind of walk that, see what that's all about. But for now, we're gonna enjoy this Wapiti campground here. One other thing I wanted to mention, this morning at that rest area we started off at, I saw a bed straw moth caterpillar and it was absolutely disgusting. It must have been like this long for scale reference and it had a red horn mosquito, and it had a red horn out its back end. That was super creepy looking too. Are we going for a walk without you? Who's there? Are we outside without you? So we had Kat outside at the campsite pretty much all day with us. We're just leaving for our evening walk, you know, the sun's gone down and it's a nice kind of out and about temperature. And she's up begging to come outside in the window still. We cannot escape her. She's obsessed to the RV life, I tell you. I can't blame her, but we need our space too, Kat. So since we have this map here conveniently placed, we can actually show you where our campsites are. Because this campground is actually huge. There's so many different loops and like, each of these letters are a loop of like five or eight ca different campsites in itself. So we're in H tonight, pretty much in the middle here. And then tomorrow, we're actually going to be in W. We're gonna be up on the tip part of W Ooh. here. And this is the Athabasca River. So we'll be right on the river there. That should be pretty nice. Yeah, our background. And then the third night we're here, we're in FF. I think it's around here or something. And this is the area that has hookups. So on the third night, we're gonna have um, electrical power, so that would be nice to have, and yeah. But we're also going to check out on our walk tonight, we're going to head over to AA. This is kind of like a weird loop because apparently it's just like a parking lot basically, but it's also service, so they have electrical hookups, and it's only first come first serve. So it's kind of weird having a first come first serve that has electrical hookups, it seems kind of weird, but in reality I guess Parking in a parking lot isn't the most ideal thing, so I guess I understand, but we're gonna go check that out as well to see what it's like. And I guess a good thing to note as well is when we were driving into Jasper, all of the signs for the campground said that this campground was full, and it was, except for the AA first come first serve. There's quite a few that were still available there, and I guess they just don't advertise them because they aren't really ideal, but I don't know, check online before you come. Even if it says that the campground is full on all the signs, they might have some first come first serve in AA. We are approaching the AA campsite here and they look lined up super tight. We've either boondocked or free camped a lot. Otherwise, when we do find a campsite, we kind of try and find ones that have like medium privacy by looking at pictures online. We've never stayed at a private RV park or any RV parks where they do line you up wall to wall. It's not really our style. So let's see how this looks. We actually debated on if we were gonna ask the campsite lady today if we could change to this one because we expect it to be hot today. And then we could have a hookup spot and have some AC and run it because we haven't had hookups in, I don't know, since Pacific Rim National Park. And that's like a month ago or something. Don't quote me on that, but let's go see how these ones look in comparison. So the AA campground actually did have some nice views at least and it was only about half booked which is kind of surprising at this time of night but a little too tightly packed for our taste. A few people all had their radios playing out the windows and like their kids were running in between RVs and stuff and when I'm camping I want a little bit of privacy. I mean that's why we boondock a lot of the time in the first place let alone if you're paying for a site at least a little bit of privacy would be nice. Okay so we just checked out of the campsite and drove down to Jasper Town and we're gonna go walk around and check it out. And lucky us, we even saw a sign that there's actually a farmer's market today. So that's at one. So we got a little bit of time to kill in like some gift shops and just walking around town. And we've got our masks because BC has been really lenient on wearing masks in public. And I don't know, more recently it's become more of an issue and they're asking that you wear your masks more in public and in places where you can't social distance and keep six feet away. But here in Jasper, when you drive into town, they have a sign saying, please wear your mask everywhere in public. So we got them and we're gonna wear them. 
Yeah, it could also be because it's a big tourist area, yeah. of course. There's a whole lot of people from different provinces. We've seen Manitoba plates and people from all over, so probably a good precaution. So at the farmer's market, we got some roasted garlic and dill sourdough. Sounds delicious, we wanted to get something at least. It wasn't as big as we expected it. I was hoping to find some kind of like, maybe bison meat or caribou or something wild out here, but this will do. And then we walked past 7-Eleven on the way back to the RV and a cold drink on a hot day to cool down the body temperature, always a good idea too. So we're gonna jump in the RV now, have a bit of lunch. And then we've got a little bit of a scenic drive and a scenic viewpoint to get to coming up next. Alright, time to go explore some canyons. Alright, so the canyon was super cool. We ended up going all the way to the fifth bridge, which was 2.2 kilometers there and then 2.2 back. And it's so hot. Yeah, it felt a little warmer by the end of the day. But we made it and well worth it. It was super cool. But now it's time to cool down a bit and we're on our way to the campground to get that riverside site. Yeah, let's see how this riverside camping is. So on the way to that little bit of a walkabout we did, we saw some what we're expecting to be mule deer kind of elk on the way out there and they're actually still right on the riverbed area on the way back to our campsite so we pulled a quick ue went up a road safely of course turned around and we're about to go see if they're female elk or what we've got this is gonna be epic you pay a guy big money for this but today i'm your tour guide they even have babies How was that for a quick pullover, huh? We found some more. Go back to your family. So, we're checked into our new campsite in the W Loop here. And if you're coming to Jasper National Park, this might be our favorite camping loop, I would imagine. We didn't walk down here last night because it was a bit farther from the rest of the spots, so it should be quieter and look at this river we'll take you for a campsite tour in a second here but this is literally right in the back spot of our campground we just also saw some of whitewater rafter kind of guys go down in the tube that was kind of neat as well but wow what a good camping area and here we are chilling by the river in our beautiful campsite at wapiti yeah, campsite number W29, right? Yeah. Yeah, if you want this campsite, it's like a really, really good one. So, so nice. Highly recommend it. Yeah, we booked it super last minute too. What, two days ago? Yeah. <laughs> Someone must have canceled or something because it was super busy to book it here with the Whistler Campground being closed and, and Jasper National Park, Whistler Campground. But lucked out there and taken in the river views. Yeah, we've had such a good time in Jasper already and we still have one more night in this campground. Um, in the plug-in sites, like the electrical loop. Yeah, FF, I believe. Yeah, and then the next day we're heading down 
the Icefield Parkway, which we've never done before, and it goes straight to Banff, so we're really excited for that as well. Yeah, we have four nights camping down that way, two booked nights, two nights trying to find first curve, first surf sites. Hopefully we can see some big wildlife. A bear would still be nice to catch on camera. Yeah. But at we least we saying, did. Oh, sorry. We were saying we've never seen a grizzly bear before. Yeah. And we would freaking love to see a grizzly bear. That would be so cool. From the safety of our RV. Yeah. I don't want to see it in our camp stater when we're sitting by the river here, but we'll see what happens. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the little intro of us getting to Jasper at least. There'll still be a whole lot more adventure to come up here in the Rocky Mountains. Leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it. And I suppose we will catch you in the next video. Otherwise, there, friends. Yep. See you guys. Night.